This story is brought to you by NBC News. All right, guys, I've got some breaking news for you uh, out of Indiana. <sighs> I just found out about this, and so I'm on break, so I thought I'd give it to you while I'm on break. Um, but 28 female prisoners at an Indiana jail claim in two federal lawsuits that they were subjected to a night of terror after they were attacked and sexually assaulted by male inmates who had allegedly bought a key to the women's wing from one of the jailers for a thousand dollars. The ordeal at the Clark County Jail allegedly began on October 24th, 2021 and continued over the course of several hours during which the women were raped, assaulted, harassed, threatened, and intimidated according to the most recent lawsuit. Now this lawsuit was filed on Monday this week in U.S. District Court of Southern Indiana. It was filed on behalf of eight women, all identified as Jane Doe against the Clark County Sheriff, Jamie Knoll, now former corrections officer, David Lowe, and several unknown officers at the jail in Jeffersonville, Indiana. A previous lawsuit had been filed earlier in June on behalf of 20 other female inmates, alleging that Noel and the jail guards violated the women's civil rights by either intentionally or negligently allowing the eight male inmates to gain access to their pods and not coming to their aid. Now the complaint states, amazingly, even though there were surveillance cameras positioned in locations that showed the male detainees accessing the women's pods, and even though the incident involved multiple male detainees and dozens of victims, over an extended period of time, not a single jail officer on duty that night came to the aid of the plaintiffs and other victims. They just sat and watched, I guess, or maybe they were asleep. Taxpayer money. Afterward, the female inmates contend in the lawsuit, rather than support the victims who were subject to sexual assault and abuse, jail officials punished the women after the incident by subjecting them to lockdowns, confiscating their property, and by keeping the lights on for 72 hours straight. Uh, they also didn't change the locks to the pod, even though the keys were still missing, the lawsuit says. The lawsuits were filed after Lowe was criminally charged in October with three counts, escape, official misconduct, and trafficking with an inmate, according to online court records. His trial has been scheduled for November of this year, and he faces at least nine years in prison if convicted on all three charges. They'll give him a plea deal. Now, in an interview with the Washington Post, Lowe said he made a mistake. No kidding. Captain Obvious. Lowe said he made a mistake that enabled the inmates to steal the keys. He also insisted he was coerced and assaulted into making a false confession about selling them the keys. Coerced into making a false confession. By who? The inmates or his superiors? NBC News has reached out to Lowe's lawyer for comment and to Jeremy Mole, the Clark County prosecuting attorney, to see if any of the male inmates who allegedly attacked the women have been identified and charged with crimes. Now, the women said two inmates were the ringleaders and they disguised themselves so they could not be identified. The complaint states the men who covered their faces so they could not be identified were yelling and threatening to harm the women if they called for help or pressed emergency call buttons. Um, this one's so sketchy. I mean, aren't they supposed to be, like they said, there's surveillance cameras all over those jails. They didn't see male inmates going into the female pod and go, whoa, what, what's going on over here? They didn't see that. And what's up with this David Lowe? Well, I, I they accidentally stole the keys from me, but I was coerced into saying I sold them to, to them. Right. 